We've seen time and time again racial tensions running high across the country. This exhibit right here at the Museum of Man focuses on the very topic that most people shy away from, race. 10 News anchor Robert Santos got an up-close look at why the museum decided to buy the exhibit for permanent display. Race, a short word that's become a cause for both celebration and sadness. What uh, I found interesting was that there is no such thing as race. Um, it's kind of like an ideolo ideology that came um, from, you know, white men in the past. This exhibition, Race, Are We So Different, challenges what we think we know about race and racism in America. I always have to be the one to approach somebody to be their friend. Through this interactive display, try guessing who's talking solely based on the voice you hear. You were very comfortable in greeting people, making eye contact. Learn about hapas, like this woman, who most wouldn't guess was Finnish, Swedish, and Japanese. Or this woman, who's Filipina, Norwegian, and Irish. Well, the whole exhibit's fascinating. This display in particular grabbed Kevin's attention. Using stacks of $20 bills, it shows the huge imbalance of income between whites and Asians and other minorities. This is something that a lot of people don't talk about because it's considered taboo, but I think it needs the attention. Unlike other exhibits, this one is different in that there are chairs everywhere, and that's because the museum wants people to sit down and talk with strangers about this important topic. So what do you think about this exhibit? I'm amazed. I've only been here 20 minutes. Been through three stations, though, and the things that I thought I knew, I didn't know. When it came here four years ago, the Museum of Man found it was so popular it decided to buy the exhibit for permanent display. We are really trying to become the space in San Diego for important conversations, for the conversations that matter to our community. And in a way that's fun, engaging, and educational. Robert Santos, 10 News. Opening up the dialogue. And the exhibit took seven years to build. It was developed by the American Anthropological Association and the Science Museum of Minnesota. 